Hi everyone. Today I'm here because I want to talk about who's a good candidate to get the Hyaluron pen treatment. And if you're offering this service in your salon, you're probably wondering what type of clientele you want to be targeting the service at. And I just want to remind everyone that this is not a treatment just for women. We tend to forget about our men clientele as well. And there's many men out there that like to treat their skin and hydrate their skin and fill their wrinkles just as much as women do. So just a little reminder not to forget our men clientele. The Hyaluron device treats many areas in the skin, on your face, your neck. You can also do hand treatments as well. It hydrates the skin. Since hyaluronic acid is a natural substance we have in our skin, we have it in our eyeballs, we have it in our joints, we have it all over the body, and it's very beneficial to keeping the skin hydrated. It helps with fine lines, wrinkles, it can add volume to an area, meaning you can add volume to your cheeks or enhance your lips to make them a little bigger. You can add a little volume to the eyebrow bone as well. It can even out lips. Sometimes we have a smaller upper lip than we do a bottom lip. So that you would maybe add a little more product into the top lip and a little less into the bottom. So that's uh, something that you as the artist and practitioner should have in mind. You should be able to have a vision. A lot of people are asking me for injection amounts and details like that on where to inject and how much to inject. But the problem we have with that is I don't want to just set it one way straight because everyone's different. Everyone requires a different maintenance. Sometimes it's restoration. Sometimes it is enhancement. And it depends on the person's age as well and the shape of their face. So we're just going to talk about the different areas uh, we can do with the Hyaluron pen today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You guys have been great. I love my followers. You're so amazing and thank you so much. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. We have a group, Hyaluron Pen Queen, if you like to join me on Facebook. It's a private group for practitioners. Uh, what else can we do with the Hyaluron pen device? We can do all over the face. I'm going to list a few things. We'll discuss it as we go. So you can do lips. Many people do the lips and also the smoker's line. If you're a smoker, many people have lines going around the lips and they want to fill that. So sometimes you want to add the volume into the lip before you start attacking those lines because very often those lines are coming from a loss of volume in the lips. So from doing the pucker all the time, like this, you lose the volume in the lip, creating the lines around it. So sometimes, uh, even if the client insists, you have to take it over as the professional and you make that decision on your own where to inject because not everyone needs direct injection into smoker's lines. Most of the time, it's because there's lack of volume in the lips. So just think about that before you do anyone's. You can do the chin. All of you know, you've seen me do it before. I have a dimple in my chin. I actually have two. Right now, this one's due to be touched up. So that can be filled as well. Uh, you can add volume into the cheeks. You've seen me do that in other videos also. Uh, many people like to define their jawline, so you can do the jaw as well. You can round, sometimes you can fill in the little space here. Some people have a bigger jowl. So sometimes with the jowl, you might want to fill the cheek a little bit. That lifts the jowl as well. And then you work on this area too. Sometimes the jowl, it's due to lack of volume over here. Okay, so this spot over here, you're losing volume, the jowl tends to sag. So sometimes you want to fill that little triangle on the corners of the lips, the corners of the lips to the jowl. Okay, so there's little tricks you can do. Sometimes you don't want to just go directly onto the problem spot. You really need to assess the person's face, where the volume loss is happening and go from there. So you can do also, you can create a more defined jaw on the corner here as well. That's another place people like to do. You can also do nose augmentation. A lot of people now are going to just have little ridges on the nose filled. You can either build the bridge up here. You can fill in a bump. Some people have a dimple on the tip of their nose. You can have that filled as well. You can also do next to the nose right over here. This can be filled as well. You can do eyebrow lift. You can put filler into the brow, into, on top of the brow bone, and this can create a lift to the eyebrow and it gives it a nice shape, softer. You can go to the tear through under the eye. A lot of people ask me if you can do that. Yes, you can, but you have to know that you'll probably bruise or your 
your client will probably bruise. A lot of people are very sensitive to the area. I have bruised. There's been times where I have a little bruise there and other times where I don't bruise. I try to keep the injections low, even less than a 0 0.01. I kind of just do a half a line and I continue to add slowly because I don't want to bruise. And we are more sensitive there. We just don't want to be gentle in that area. Don't be going at 0 0.2 shots and three and it's just too much and you will bruise. So I like to keep it light. That's just my opinion. Everybody has their ways and if it works for you, that's great. And if it doesn't, well, you can try my way and hopefully that'll be successful. We can do the marionette lines. Many people are concerned with the lines over here, but you do want some sort of a line there because that's what makes us look human. That allows our face to move and it shapes our cheeks and everything else. So you need a little bit of a line here, but here people like to fill this line. This is called marionette lines. You wanna fill those. You can do crow's feet. Many people from squinting always wear your sunglasses. I always wear sunglasses when I'm outside. You can do frown lines, which come right here from frowning. When you frown, you get a line right there. Two lines, actually. They're called the 11s. And there's also a line as well that many people tend to get when they lose the frown lines, if you're doing Botox especially, because now the movement over here has stopped. A lot of people do their facial movements, they compensate for the, the muscle that's not moving and they move another muscle instead. So there's another line we can get, it's called a buddy line and it's horizontal. It, it goes like this around here in the nose, somewhere in the nose, usually in this area. And you can fill that as well. I have a really nice picture if you wanna take a look at it in my photo gallery uh, of somebody who I did do her 11s and her bunny line. It looks great. It also tightens your skin at the same time as filling it. So you'll also notice that the skin is a little bit tighter. Your pores are tighter too, and you have more of a glow. And that's what hyaluronic acid will do to your skin. It's amazing. These lines here, your forehead lines, if you're going to do them on someone because of the flat surface, you don't want to be doing big injections here either. You want to go from a half a line maybe, like I said, a little less than a 0 0.01 because you don't want lumps. You can go 0 0.01 max though so in the line put the center of your pen where it's going to be injecting in the center of the line in the deepest spot okay so you're going to do the lines keep it low pressure necklines you can do those no problem again keep it low depending on the, the depth of the wrinkle of course you can do it on hands on your hands you're going to do same thing as you would mesotherapy it's great for acne scars as well some people are scarred up on their cheeks or in different parts of their face and it's so unfortunate for them it's really terrible nobody wants to be scarred on their face and now the hyaluronic acid will help improve those scars so we have options now if you're receding you can use the hair loss serum and the hyaluron device you'll do it the same way you would mesotherapy and that goes also for the fat dissolve so a lot of people like to put the fat dissolve into the skin and this is commonly used on the neck it's used on parts of the arms sometimes it's used on the thighs sometimes it's used on the back different areas where there's parts of the skin where it's just not losing the weight you're trying and it's an area that you can really exercise many women about the bottom of their stomachs they like to do that and it's also great for stretch marks with your hyaluronic acid if you're going to use it um, for scars you can also use it for stretch marks but for the fat dissolve and the hair loss serum it is not hyaluronic acid it's another product that you have to put into the device when you're using hyaluronic acid please make sure that it's an injectable i see a lot of people that are using serums that are meant to be used with microneedling device uh, or the derma roller and they're injecting it into their skin. I've seen some people with blisters and it's not very pretty when your skin looks that way. So if it seems too cheap, it's probably a serum that you put on top of your face. Please be careful of that. You cannot be injecting those things. It's not a problem if you do the mistake and put the injectable hyaluronic acid on your skin on top like a serum and use it, that's fine. But do not take the serum that's meant for the face's surface and inject it into the skin. That's a big no-no, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're buying injectable hyaluronic acid if you're gonna be using it with the hyaluron device. It can be used as a muscle therapy device and it's also used as a filler to add volume to the face or fill wrinkles or like I said, to restore and enhance your features.
This is not plastic surgery. It's not going to change your looks completely like somebody would think a facelift would. You can offer your clients a liquid facelift. It's great if you want to touch up all over and also improve the texture of their skin overall. There's a video out there of me doing mesotherapy. So you're, what the idea is, is kind of like a checkerboard and you do very small injections all over the skin. You can do that with the hyaluron pen and uh, using the hyaluronic acid that is injectable. And doing this treatment tightens your pores, it tightens any kind of loose skin, it improves your blood circulation in the skin, so it gives you better pigment, more even skin tones. Your skin will become hydrated again and more radiant. You'll see your pores go smaller. It's going to feel a lot firmer as well. If you're a beginner and you've never had mesotherapy or hyaluronic acid, you need a few sessions before you start seeing lasting results. And these sessions are usually done about two weeks apart. Uh, once you're hydrated and you're liking what you see and you like the results and your skin looks tight and hydrated and it looks great, at that point you're going to be doing your sessions about every four to six months you're going to do this. So just go over the face, it feels great, and your skin looks like new when you're done. That's a few things we would use the Hyaluron Pen device for and the people who would benefit from it. We can do all age groups. It's great from young to old. Some people, when they're younger, in their 20s, they want to enhance their features. And when you're older, you want to restore a few things. So we have to remember when we get involved with hyaluronic acid that this takes maintenance. Even if you're adding volume or restoration, you still have to warn your client uh, that you know, this is gonna take maintenance. It's not a permanent solution. If you're a beginner and you want volume, it might take two or three sessions before you start seeing the lasting results. And if you're using it for mesotherapy, six to eight sessions every two weeks, you'll start seeing the results. And then maintenance, I'm talking only for Hyaluron Queen from my product alone. Everybody has their own staying and textures and cross-linked inside their hyaluronic acid. Mine, Hyaluron Queen, is made specifically for the device in order for it to enter the skin properly and lasting results. We don't want pro product wastage and we don't want the results to disappear too quick, which can happen from the lower cross link products. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you subscribe. Thanks for following my channel. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions or if you need any supplies or products, I can definitely help you with that. My website, if you go visit it, it's going to be under construction. So you can just email me at is lc at hyaluron-queen with a k dot com and you can reach me there. And I hope you all have a great day.